This is uh, this is the kind of a book I, I love. I love to read these things. When uh, I was um, researching, I was gonna, I was writing a Western a few years ago, a screenplay actually. And so I started researching, you know, what the West was really like, that type of thing. And it came on this book, The Log of a Cowboy by Andy Adams, which is a uh, true life um, account of a cattle drive from like 1882 or something like that. And what I love about books like this is they're written, they're nonfiction written by a real guy who, or a real gal who was really there and really did the thing, whatever it was. It's not fiction, it's not anything like that. And here are some of the, some of the cool things that uh, you learn in a book like this. Like when we see cattle drives on TV and in movies, the cowboys usually, they have a horse, right? They have their horse that they ride. Turns out that on a real cattle drive, every cowboy in this group, there were like 12 of them with a herd of about 3,000, had 10 horses. It was called a remuda, R-E-M-U-D-A. And apparently that was how it worked because like polo ponies, ponies, you need a string of them. Horses get tired. So they had, each, each cowboy had 10 horses. Also, um, they had their special night horse because traveling, you know, some horses were good in the dark and some were not good in the dark. And um, another interesting thing that uh, I never knew was that this whole, the great age of the cattle drives only lasted about 20 years. And the drives would start from like the Mexican border and go all the way up into Montana and Wyoming. A lot of them were contracts that the government had for feeding Native Americans who were on reservations. That was one of the big deals about it. And there were, sometimes there were so many herds on the trail, there would be like one following another, following another, following, they could see the dust behind them and dust ahead of them. And it would be months that they were on the trail. The other big thing about uh, the cattle drives that uh, makes absolute sense when you read about it was the big events were crossing the rivers. They would come to the South Platte or the North Platte or the Cimarron or the Republican River. And it was a big, big deal getting the cattle across the rivers with a lot of adventures along the way. But Andy Adams, I want to read a couple of passages because he's a wonderful writer. Although he's a real guy who really did it, he's like a Mark Twain type of writer. Let me just read you a couple of short things to give you a sense of the flavor of, of, uh, of this book. He's talking about horses. Talking about one great horse that, uh, that a friend of his had ridden. No man who sat him once could ever forget him. Now, when the trail is a lost occupation and reverie and reminiscence carry the mind back to that day, there are friends and faces that may be forgotten, but there are horses that never will be. There were emergencies in which the horse was everything, his rider merely the accessory. But together, man and horse, they were the force that made it possible to move the millions of cattle which passed up and down the various trails of the West. Here's one more thing where they're in not in Dodge City, but in a place called Ogallala, which was kind of a den of iniquity. And he's talking about the women, the dance hall gals and stuff like that. Here might be seen the frailty of women in every grade and condition, from girls in their teens launching out on a life of shame to the adventuress who had once had youth and beauty in her favor, but was now discarded and ready for the final dose of opium and the coroner's verdict. All were there in tinsel and paint, practicing a careless exposure of their charms. So you can see that Andy Adams is a wonderful writer in his own right. And uh, I apologize for recommending these books that you can only find in obscurity on eBay or something. But this is a really terrific one. The, the kind of book I love that really tells how it really was. The Log of a Cowboy by Andy Adams.